I was thinking today about the changes the world is going through. Things that many of us have never experienced. Actually, I don't think any of us have ever experienced. Sure that there have been ups and downs. There have been things that have affected individual countries, individual cities. Even world wars. I don't think I haven't lived through one. But when I look at history and I talk to people who have been through them, who are still with us, uh, it hasn't quite affected the world as this pandemic has. Everyone is affected. Everyone. And so it is an interesting scenario to try to navigate, right? All of us have been doing it in one way or another. There has been stability and instability, certainty and uncertainty, answers and then questions and then more answers and then more questions on top of those answers. And it's not something that uh, it creates a good feeling, you know, when you're sitting in uncertainty and you're sitting in, uh, in, in questions and sitting in doubt. My industry in particular has been hit massively hard. I mean, everybody has, but my industry that's specifically live theater, it's not running in 99% of the world. There are parts of the world where it is running. Um, Asia, it's been running. Uh, but for most of the world, it's completely shut down. And that's affected the livelihoods of countless thousands and thousands of people um, and their ability to work and their ability to sustain their families. And look, this is true for a lot of industry and a lot of businesses. So I just want to encourage you guys to figure out a way to create some stability in the instability. You know, I've been talking about this since last March, right? Even before that. But, um, you know, there are some answers that are coming, but even those answers have questions. I mean, vaccines are coming, but people, some people are afraid of vaccines. What's in the vaccine? Some people are going to take them. Some people aren't. So there's even questions on that. But th see, there, there, there is always something you can hold on to. There's always something that you can stabilize yourself with. Even if it's your family. Even if it's a tree. Right? It's there. It's real. Find something that you can stabilize yourself with. Find something that you can hold on to. If you're a creative artist, what are you creating? Are you painting? Are you photographing? My buddy Matt Stokey has gone out and he started taking photographs. And that, you know, the photographs of the Broadway theaters. And then matching up people from those shows with those theaters. And that turned into a, a really great expose that he's been doing. In this, in this time of inability to create, we have the ability to create. If you're a singer, are you working on your vocals? Are you recording things? Look, I'm holding an iPhone. It's 4K. You can make a movie with this thing. There's times, there's things that you can do. And yes, I do understand that the finances are, are crazy for a lot of people. It's, it's, it's massively daunting. But what can you do with your creative art that you can put out there to generate some income? Do what you love to do and dive into that. Because that's the thing that'll keep you going. That's the thing that'll keep you driving forward. Even when times get tough. Right? Living your passion. Living your truth. That always has a way of bringing people up and raising their spirits. And I encourage you to do the same thing. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting out and walking. It's a beautiful day. And uh, then I'm going to go back and do some more work. I'm writing. Look, grab, grab the free chapter of my book. You don't have to buy the freaking book. Just grab a free chapter. There are some answers there. And then what I do 
is you'll be on my free newsletter for artists that uh, things go out that's like, hey, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, it's all free. Grab it, it's jamesbarber.com slash ASG, Artist Survival Guide. Don't have to buy the book. You don't have to buy anything, it's free. Just wanna get you guys some help because we're all in this together. We're all spinning around this world. And ultimately, when, uh, when the truth hits, we're all the same, folks. We're all the same. We need to help each other. So I want to help you. So anyway, that's my little thing for today. Uh, it's coming on Christmas. And uh, I know there are those of you who don't celebrate Christmas. It's coming on Hanukkah. It's coming on Kwanzaa. There are those of you who don't celebrate any of those things. Um, but there is a way to celebrate. And we celebrate the power of the human spirit and the resilience that we have as beings and the true global nature of humanity. So let's come together rather than be separate. Let's look for resolution rather than dissolution. And uh, I hope you have a good rest of your week. And uh, pop something positive. Put something down below that you're doing to make your life better or somebody else's life better. Or something fun. Even something that you saw today that made you laugh. Put that in there. Share it because other people can use the smile and the laugh. There's a giant blow-up Olaf over there. You see him? It's a giant inflatable Olaf on a lawn for Christmas. I have no bones. It's one of my favorite lines from that movie. All right. Enjoy, guys. See you later.